Today, we're going to be covering some tech that I've not seen anywhere else. Now, I could be wrong. I don't know 100% of the internet. So if you've seen it out there, let me know. Today, we're going to talk about a staling transition that has actually changed since Smash 4. So let's just quickly go over staling so that everybody's on the same page. Staling's a mechanic where the more you land the same move on an opponent, the less damage and knockback it does. It's kind of an anti-spam mechanism, if you will. And the game remembers up to the last nine moves that you landed on your opponent. Now, let's say I do lasers on Donkey Kong, right? So my first laser is gonna deal this much damage, but as I continue to laser Donkey Kong, each laser does less and less total damage. Now, you can freshen up moves by using other moves. So the game only remembers the last nine moves that landed on your opponent. If I use, let's say, nine up tilts on Donkey Kong here, and then we go back to lasers, that laser is fresh again. And that's kind of how it works. Now in Smash 4, there was this really weird hidden mechanic tech thing where items that you could grab and throw, such as Link's Bomb, Mega Man's Blade, Pac-Man's Neutral B, if you could knock that out of the hands of those opponent or if they, they just threw that at you, those moves didn't stale, but they did count towards the hidden cue where you could use Link's Bomb on Donkey Kong over and over and over again and freshen up all of his moves. But the bombs themselves didn't stale because they're an item. I, I don't ask me, ask Sakurai. But it did unstale other moves. So if I went over here to Donkey Kong and used my little up tilt, you see how much damage that does. Now if I continue to use up tilt, it does a little bit less total damage every time. I know it's Smash 4, so it's gonna require a little math. But if I sit here and use my bombs on Donkey Kong, I eventually get to a point where it removes everything else. Now if you notice the bombs did the same damage every time. It removes all the other former up tilts that I did out of the queue. So whenever I up tilt again, it actually is a fresh up tilt. This got removed from Smash 4 to Smash Ultimate. Just to prove it, let's still give this mechanic a try in Ultimate. So I'm gonna go for Young Link's down air, and that does this amount of damage that you guys see here on screen. Now, if I try to clear my queue like I did in Smash 4 using just bombs on Donkey Kong, and then we go for another down air, we see that that did less damage than the other down airs that Link did. Meaning that though throwable items like Link's Bomb don't stale themselves still, they are no longer added to that hidden stale move list queue that we were talking about earlier, meaning that they are unable to unstale other moves. That makes any sense whatsoever. But I didn't lab every character. So if you've got a character out there where it does count towards the stale queue and the move doesn't stale itself, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. Also, while you're laughing, just a quick note here, make sure you turn stale moves on during practice mode. That's super important. Anyway, that's all I got for the video today. I just thought it was a really cool, small, interesting tidbit from Transition to Smash 4 to Smash Ultimate that I didn't really see covered anywhere, that I couldn't really find, but it was still a detail that like the game developers, they're like, yo, this, this is the thing, and we're actually gonna change that. And I don't know, that's that's really cool how how detailed that is. Like, who, who would have thought of that? Anyway, I don't really ever upload to YouTube. You can find me on Twitch, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 p.m. Central Time. Link's down there, twitch.tv slash gamer. I'll see y'all over there. Like, comment, share with a friend, subscribe or don't, drink water. <laughs>